Okay, we are here in the uh, Google self-driving car where inside it's obviously driving itself and it's doing everything by itself. And I am here as a passenger. I'm really hoping that Sebastian did a good job in training this because he is not driving right now. And I'm not I driving. He drives better than me. I am at the come? mercy of this car right now. That's true. It does drive better so than me. So why are we talking about self-driving cars here? Why are we talking about self-driving cars? Well, we're going to start by talking about supervised classification. And self-driving cars are one big supervised classification problem. What does supervised mean? Supervised means that you have a bunch of examples where you know sort of the correct answer in those examples. So I know that you have an example of this from the self-driving cars. Yeah, so um, I mean, we, we train our cars and we show the car what's the right behavior. When we did the Dava Grand Challenge, uh, we would take it off for a spin and it would very carefully watch us human drivers drive and it would emulate our behavior. And in fact, this is sort of how people learn to drive, right? Yeah, I think so. When I was a child, I watched my parents drive and they weren't particularly good drivers, but I could still copy a lot of stuff from them. Yeah, so it's kind of like uh, in the way the humans drive by watching lots of examples. That's what computers do when they're doing machine learning. So you give them lots of examples and they start to figure out what's going on. Yeah. That's what we'll be learning about. And that's totally true. In this unit, you're going to be learning about machine learning the same way we, we program in self-driving car. You're going to program in data and, and test out whether you can make a car go fast and slow at the appropriate time using machine learning supervised learning. That's right. So we're going to be looking at a really cool terrain classification problem that was very important for Stanley. You want to introduce that? So in Stanley's case, uh, it was driving through the desert. And the desert terrain has like ruts and broom. It can be very brutal. So if you drive too fast, you're running risk of flipping over and destroying yourself. So one thing we trained the car to do is to really slow down at the appropriate time. We did this not by writing little rules. We did it by us demonstrating to the car how we drive and it would just emulate us. How many miles did you have to drive to train that? Oh, thousands of miles. We spent thousands of miles every day in the desert. Oh. And it took quite a while to make the car really smart. Your poor grad students, I can only yeah. imagine. Well, I was the guy who got the pizza for everybody, but uh, it was a great time because it was no email. We just had uh, us and the software, and every time we got a software bug, it was very obvious the car would punish us. Oh, that sounds great. So I think we should probably get started with that. Let's try out a few different supervised classification problems. Yeah, so the unit is all about supervised learning, so let's dig in. Sounds great.